Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Ken Neal, Stroud for Randall and Roof. Today is, look what it says, Saturday, March 26, 2016 AD. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about transferring pictures from a CF card to your computer. Very simple process. But for those of you who have never done it or, um, uh, or first timers to it, maybe you can learn something here. And even new events people, maybe you can learn a different way of doing it. Because there are several ways to do it. I prefer to do it manually as compared to using a software package to um, import the pictures. Now I do use iTunes to save a bunch of my pictures too so I can put them on my iPod. Um, but for actual going from the camera to the computer as you can see the the uh, EOS digital pops up here because I've got a Canon camera obviously. And I'm going to bring it over here. I want to. Inside this folder is a DCIM folder. And you see my particular folder, it says 100 Canon. And the reason for that is if there were multiple pictures over 100, there would be another folder. For it. Basically, the folder holds um, 100 pictures. And when you, have, when you go over to 100 pictures, it creates a new folder and starts recording in that. Um, because that's the way it did, they did it when they made my camera. Nowadays, you can set it to do it by so many pictures or by date or, you know, each, you know, you shoot 2,000 pictures in one day and it's one folder. Or you can set, lot, some cameras you can set it up for every hour or every, you know, there's different ways you can set it up to, in different way, folder uh, scenarios you can set it up for. Uh, most of them nowadays are just by the day. Uh, but you can, there's some cameras depending on what camera brand you have and what settings you set, uh, use to set up how many pictures or between what times uh, your pictures are taken and how many folders actually are on your um, card. So, several different options there. This is just the way my camera does it. It does 100 pictures uh, that, that creates another folder. And, um, it's DCIM. Now, the reason there's no other, there's no other folder here is because my camera doesn't do video. If you had a camera or, or that did also did video, a lot of times there'd be a second folder here, or maybe even more, um, but mine doesn't do video, mine just does photography. So what I do is just copy the folder. Again, let's see, there's so many pictures in it right now. So just drop and drag, very simply. Boom. I'm moving and just sit here and wait for it to, to do its thing. Now normally when I'm done here, you'll see that I delete um, everything off the CF card because I have everything I need now on the computer. Uh, sometimes if I have like a, like a big wedding or event, I'll keep it, the originals, on the CF card or on the cam the whatever card, you know, I have a CF card. Um, but you can, depending on what kind of camera card you have, you can keep it on the back up until you're you're sure you've got everything. Because sometimes you can accidentally delete something or something can happen, you got a power outage or whatever. And for some reason you might lose a file or some files or the whole thing. And if you you keep it onto your CF card or your SD card, whatever kind of card you have until after you're done editing and uh, whatever. Um you know, you've got a lot of times I like to burn it when I'm done editing. Um, depending on if I've got money to buy some CDs, uh, I will buy some CDs or DVDs. Or now Blu rays, of course, Blu rays are still kind of expensive. But you can buy DVDs, DVD dash R's pretty, pretty cheaply. And I'll save all my files onto a DVD dash R. Because they're like, I think you can get them for like 30 or 40 cents now. Uh, depending on the name brand, you can get for less or more, of course, but, so you have a backup. And it just takes, depending on your, depending on, now these are 8 megapixel files, and, um, it's standard USB, so I think it's just 1.0, I could be wrong about that, it could be 2.0, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's not 3.0, it might be 2.0, but, uh, I don't know. Oh, this is not going to take too long. It's, do I wish it was quicker? Yeah, of course. But, um, 
Just gonna sit here and wait. Uh, these pictures over here are something from the other day I was working on. I'm still not done with them, so they're still there. Uh, I like how it shows the little graph or bar across the thing about approximately. It'd probably be nice if it said it had like a percentage number up here in the folder. If it was like 83, 84, 85 percent, that'd be nice too. But the fact that they have a bar down there is pretty good. About 10 seconds according to this. Okay, so what I do next to clear out my memory card, because I I don't need to save these for save anything on here for any real reason. So I take my DCMI folder, which has everything in it, drag it to the trash, empty the trash, and there's no items. So I'll take this, delete it. <coughs> <laughs> that didn't actually delete anything, it just supposed to drag it out of the thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then what I'll do here for temporary sake is put the date 3 20. Oh, 26. Yikes, 26 already. Holy man. 2016 AD. And then I will open it up. And uh, oops, wrong. Oh, come on. Okay. I'll clean up my name. Make them a little bit bigger. Uh, my name. And the next process will be to go through and edit the pictures I want to keep. Or edit, I'll edit all of them, color correct them, etc., etc. Uh, but then I'll decide after I color correct them, um, I'll go back and say, "Ooh, I want to save this one." I'll, I'll make a list of them. Not, I'll go through each one of them individually and say, "I want to delete this one and this one," and then whatever's left, I'll choose what the ones I use. So for now, though, that's how you copy your pictures from your. Uh, camera card, whether it be SD or Compact Flash or XQD or CFast or whatever kind of card you're using. Mine just happens to be uh, a, a Compact Flash. It's an 8 gigabyte, 133 times Flash Elite Pro from Kingston. And that's how I copy it from the card to the computer. So until next time, I'm Kenny Neal Strong for Rail and Roofs. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless you. Bye. Oh yeah, keep taking those pictures.